Hey everyone, it's Coach Haley here again on your second video on introductory to boxing techniques or striking techniques. Last video we spent a lot of time focused on the fundamentals of your stance, your basic movements, as well as your ones and twos. Today what we're going to focus on is reviewing some of those basic things like your stance, making sure we're always throwing from a proper starting point. Then we're going to add the threes and fours, work on some combinations, and give you a little bit more challenging rounds to work out to at the end of the video. All right, so let's get back to it. Everybody knows that stance from last video. We're going to start with the hip width apart stance. Send the right foot back that equal distance, so that way if you were to draw an imaginary line, going straight out of your left foot and straight across your body from the right foot, they would meet at a 90 degree angle. Just makes it a little easier so you can visualize having your feet kind of in two corners of a different box. Our, we our weight, rather, is going to be focused on a 50-50 stance. So we're not leaning on one leg or the other, not leaning back, we're not leaning forward. We're just going to be nice and solid in that stance so we can move in any direction at any time. Our hands, remember, protecting the money maker up top, always com coming back to this stance in between strikes. We're never dropping our hands, we're never coming up here, we're never throwing from here. We're always keeping it nice and tight to be efficient when we move. Speaking of movement, let's do a little review. Remember, whatever direction you're moving, that foot should be moving first. So if that left foot, if we're trying to move forward, I step, 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 step. If I'm moving laterally, I think you know the drill by now, so let's just get right into that mirror game. Just follow along with me. You can always grab somebody from the house, run them through the stance, and then practice it with them as well. It's kind of a fun dancing technique. If you, maybe the kids, or even the roommates need to get out and get active a little bit, this is a really easy way to do that. So let's follow along. So notice that we're staying nice and light on our feet. You don't see me leaning in any direction, right? I'm staying nice and easy, nice and controlled. We're trying to maximize that efficiency of movement. Feel free if you're working with a partner to try to make it a little more challenging move it a little bit quicker, change directions, whatever you need to do. So that's our second mirror technique. I encourage you to take a break, grab a drink of water, and then come back to this video where we're going to teach you a little bit more of a complicated strike. So let's get into it. The hooks, I know I mentioned last week that the two or that cross was the power strike, but the hooks are the ones that a lot of people see damage to that rib cage or right underneath the chin. So these are the ones that also happen to knock you out. Well, in all honesty, you know, <laughs> if you're throwing your strikes pro properly, you kind of knock somebody out with any of them. So just pick your choice, throw them correctly, and just see what happens. Okay, so let's get into the hooks. The hooks are a lot more rotational in nature, so it really focuses in on that pivot that we talked about. Last week we briefly touched on the idea of squishing the bug with that ball of the foot, but this week when I want us to practice before we get into the actual mechanics of the hook, is really focusing in on that pivot and feeling comfortable doing so. So what I have you do is get into your stance, just like I am. Hands are going to be up. If you've ever seen the dance, the twist, where people are going back and forth, what I like to do is practice that specifically with pivoting. So I'm pivoting both feet back and forth, right, feeling a little bit more comfortable. Notice how the hips are driving the movement getting that rotation and feeling a little more comfortable on the balls of your feet. So I encourage you to practice that kind of motion just so that it feels a little bit more natural as you're throwing the punch. So let's start with the threes and fours. These are the hooks. Okay, so in that stance, hands are up. The hook, again, is coming from that powerful pivot that we just worked on. So we pivot with the foot as that hand comes out. And this time, we're coming out to the side and bringing it back. So it's like stirring a pot of soup. So come out and back, out and back, out and back. Notice my feet and my hands move at the same time, but I'm not moving or twisting my upper body. It's just the lower body. This comes here. Ideally, when we throw a hook, we're keeping that wrist aligned with that fist as well as the, the muscles and the bones within the forearm. That will prevent us from breaking the wrist. I've done it before. I've seen it before. Not a great situation if you break your wrist while trying to throw punches. 
kind of damages street cred a little bit. Okay, so we want to focus on that pivot and that alignment. Ideally, we would see the first batch of knuckles if you were to throw that hook properly. Some of you might be wearing gloves, so it's a little harder to see. But we come out, we see those knuckles, and we come straight back. So again, stirring that pot of soup, getting that power, just like so. Show you from the side as well. In that stance, so you can kind of see that shoulder movement a little bit better. We come out and come back. Out and back. Out and back. Okay, so practice that three a little bit. Remember to focus on breathing so that shh, shh, or whatever the word may be that you're choosing to use when you exhale. Now we're going to go to the four. The four is coming from that rear leg. So we're coming to the same principle. See how I pivot off that back foot? Stack that wrist, stack the arm, nice and controlled. Stirring that pot of soup. Shh. 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 Notice where that left hand is. I'm always protecting the face. Never dropping, never throwing like this. Right? We always want to stay nice and controlled. So if we put them together, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Okay? Now we've got the threes and fours. So now what we're going to work on is putting some combinations together for this week's rounds. So last week we worked on the ones and twos. Remember one, two, hitting with those first two knuckles. Now we have three, four. One, two, three, four. So if you had any questions about what this week's combination is, might just have your answer here. So that first round that we're doing, remember, three minute rounds, one minute of rest. You repeat the rounds, honestly, as many times as you'd wish. I usually shoot for five three minute rounds. Comes out to about a 15 minute workout. If you add rest in, it takes a little bit longer, but trust me, you're gonna want the rest. <laughs> so we're starting again with that 30 seconds on, 30 seconds on format. First 30 seconds is striking. Second 30 seconds of that minute is going to be some sort of strength exercise, some sort of cardio exercise. I'll show you just a basic breakdown of what that round would look like. Repeat it a couple times and you're good to go. So let's start. Ding, ding, ding. You hear that round go off. We're throwing one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ding, ding, ding. 30 seconds goes off. We're going back to those body weight squats again. You have an option here if you want to pick up some weights go crazy with your bad self whatever your kind of workout is feeling like today that's what I encourage you to do so that's the first minute down of the three minute round the second minute your combination is a one two three two one two three two one two three two you hear the 30 seconds go off we're going to drop to the floor and do push-ups. Whatever push-ups you feel comfortable doing. If you feel comfortable doing knee push-ups, you're welcome to. If you want to go to the floor with your toes, whatever your push-ups look like, you do you. Ding, ding, ding. Thank the Lord, push-ups are done. Going back to that combination for the round. This time we're going to go one, four, one, four. One, four, one, four. So we're alternating straight punch, hook, straight, hook, straight, hook. Last 30 seconds of the round, we are holding that squat this time. So we're just going to grind out that 30 seconds. Might have to shift the weight a little bit. Stand up if you need to, then get right back into it. That's your three minute round. Rest for one minute, then go as many times as you want to. Let us know how it feels for you. You now know the ones and twos, threes and fours. Tune in for the next video where we're going to throw our uppercuts. We'll see you soon.